One of the grants in Prison Architect is the Reform Through Education initiative. To unlock this grant, you first have to complete the Administration Center grant. To complete the Reform Through Education initiative grant, you have to do certain tasks. The first task is to unlock education through bureaucracy. I already completed the first task. You can complete this task by going to the bureaucracy menu and researching education. The second part of this grant is to build a classroom. The first thing you have to do is build a foundation for a classroom and then zone. The building foundation as a classroom. The classroom requires two things, an office desk and a school desk. The office desk is where the teacher will sit. The school desk is where the students will sit. The amount of school desks determines how many prisoners can follow this class. I built 12 school desks, which means that a maximum of 12 prisoners can sit in this room and follow a class. When the school desks and office desk are placed in a classroom, the second task is finished. A classroom can also have a better grading by building a blackboard and a water cooler, for example. I added a blackboard and a water cooler, and now I have a perfect 10 out of 10 class. This does not affect how well the students get taught. The students won't finish the class faster when you have a higher grade classroom. So the water cooler and blackboard are kind of unnecessary and it only affects the security grading. To finish the third task of this grant, you need to build 20 school desks. I now have 12 school desks. I can either expand this classroom and add more school desks to get the number to 20, or I could build a second classroom. I choose to build a second classroom. Once the second classroom is also built, the third task is completed. The fourth and fifth task require prisoners to pass classes. To schedule in a class, you can go to the Programs tab. When you scroll down, you will see the Foundation Education Program and the General Education Qualification. Ten people have to pass the Foundation Education Program, and only one person has to pass the General Education Qualification. Only prisoners that have passed the Foundation Education Program can partake in the general education qualification. So the prisoners have to first complete this class before they can partake in this class. If I try to schedule in this foundation education program, it will give me an error. No regime time slot. That is because the foundation education program requires three hours. So in my regime, I need to schedule three hours of work time. When I go back to programs and I reschedule all programs, it won't give an error anymore because I have three hours of work time in my schedule. If I make that six hours, I can put two classes back to back. And I can even do a different class in different rooms. 
So I can do in total four classes. I'm going to cancel these classes, however, because every class requires $300 to run. What I also can do is I can start a general education qualification class. Now that we have scheduled the programs, the programs will take place during the given time. It is now 10 o'clock. Approximately one hour before the start of the class, the teacher will start making his or her way to the classroom. You have to make sure that they can reach the classroom. In the program tab, the teacher is represented by the big square. The students that are partaking in the program are represented by the little squares. Because I only have 12 school desks, only 12 people can partake in this class. A maximum of 20 people can take the foundation education program at the same time. So if you want the min-max, you have to put 20 school desks in a classroom. For the general education qualification, the maximum number of students is 10. So I have 12 school desks, two school desks will be empty. If you look at the general education qualification, we see that zero people are interested and qualified, and there are also zero squares. So it has also zero students. That is because the foundation education program hasn't been completed by any students yet. Once the students start completing the foundation education program, more people will be interested in a general education qualification. Once it's time, the teacher will start teaching the students. When you hover over the students, you can see how well they're doing. The chance of them successfully completing this class is shown when you hover over the prisoner. The success chance is affected by three things. The concentration, the understanding and the attendance. The concentration of this prisoner is excellent, which is great. The concentration is affected by their needs. If the needs of the prisoner is fulfilled, the concentration will go up. Also, if a prisoner is suppressed, the concentration will go down. The prisoner becomes suppressed when they're in solitary. The prisoner also becomes suppressed when there are armed guards nearby. So, if you have armed guards nearby your classroom, your prisoners will become suppressed and they will do worse in class. So keep away your armed guards from your students. Another way suppression of your prisoners happens when they have to take cold showers. So if you have hot showers for your prisoners, they will become less suppressed. Items can also make your prisoners suppressed. For example, the warden statue, which will increase suppression for prisoners nearby. Another way prisoners become suppressed is if they are locked in a prison cell. For example, a punishment of a lockdown. The understanding shows how smart the prisoner is. This prisoner is, for example, excellent, which means it will have a higher chance of passing this class. The attendance shows how far she is with this program. So this prisoner is on 25%, which means she completed a quarter of this program. She has to show up a few more times before she completes this program. 
Once this is on 100%, she will either fail or succeed. This prisoner has a 70% chance. I am expecting her to succeed in this class. Let's fast forward and see what happens once this becomes 100%. So there we go, the first few people have completed and passed the foundation education course. So we are now at 70% complete, which means 7 people already have passed the foundation education course. Now if we go to the program staff, because 7 people have passed the foundation education program, those 7 people have signed up for the general education qualification. Here we see that people are also showing up for the general education qualification. The teacher is teaching this class and the students are paying attention. They have concentration on understanding, attendance and the success chance. And the success chance is affected by the concentration, understanding and the attendance. And now we just wait. We need three more people to pass the foundation education course. And we only need one person to pass the general education course. We just need patience right now. And there we go. Five more people have finished the foundation education program. So the fourth task of this grant is also complete. The only thing that we have to do now is wait until one person finishes the general education qualification. The general education qualification requires 10 sessions to be complete before a student either passes or fails. The foundation education program only requires five. So the general education qualification will take twice as long. Sometimes the amount of interested prisoners for programs might also be low. If you want a high amount of interest people, you have to keep the suppression low. So the suppression influences two things for programs. The amount of people willing to sign up for those programs, aka the amount of interested people, and the chance of success for those prisoners. Because a high suppression will make it less likely for a prisoner to succeed in that class. So for your reform programs, it's always better to keep the suppression low. So here we go. We got a prisoner with almost 100% attendance and she also has a 100% success chance. Once this class is over, she will pass and this grant will be completed. That's it. The grant is completed, and that is how you complete the Reform Through Education initiative. Quick recap, you have to unlock education in the bureaucracy, you have to build a classroom, that classroom needs 20 school desks, you have to plan in the programs, the education programs, so the students can take part of the, in them, and then you need to wait. You can increase their success chance by fulfilling their needs and not having them suppressed. If you liked this tutorial and it helped you, please leave a like. Also leave a comment. Comments really help with algorithm. You would be helping me out. And subscribe if you don't want to miss all the tutorials or one of my other series that are also a lot fun to watch. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.